Hello and uh, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll talk about a new uh, tool uh, which is in the domain of UI automation tests and uh, it's quite different and it's very easy if you compare it to existing UI automation toolkits such as Appium, UI Automator or Exitest. Exitest is for Xcode uh, in which like Exitest are normal test in which you can write normal test as well as the UI automation tests as well. But there is like a uh, slightly uh, different way of doing it in Xcode. Uh, I believe it's not as straightforward as UI Automator, which is in Android. So uh, we'll be talking about Maestro. It's being uh, developed by a company called mobile.dev. And uh, as their GitHub repository says that it's very easy and uh, like, I guess uh, 12 hours back or 13 hours back, it was uh, introduced into the public domain via their uh, blog, I guess. So I followed in their blog and I, it was very interesting and it intrigued me to look into it and I realized that uh, setting it up uh, and getting along with it is quite easy and it's not uh, that difficult. So I assume that you, you guys have uh, uh, a Mac device because I don't think it, it works on a uh, non-Mac device because the CLI says that it needs to be installed as uh, via brew and uh, the docs doesn't talk much more about it so running cli on like running the cli that the tool that it comes with maestro cli you can run it on your ci and uh, i doubt uh, that uh, these cannot be run on uh, a non mac device but as per the instructions i guess it's not and uh, because I don't have a Windows or a Linux based system, so I cannot test it as well. So I'll be just uh, talking about how you can install it and how you can just get started with it. So it will be just like just a, a basic introduction because I myself is exploring it a bit more, but it interested, it intrigued me and uh, it kind of pulled my attention towards it. That's why I am making a video on top of it. So uh, to install it, you just have to have an, a brew installed in your Mac and just tap into mobile dev Inc it will uh, we will tap into their uh, <coughs> repo and then you can install via this command because i already have it installed it will just tell me that it's already installed so uh, there is a trick uh, like there is a uh, like a what do i call it i don't I just uh, recall that word but there is like a a, a very basic thing uh, that this tool is missing which is uh, I tried running it via USB, but uh, it didn't work. And Doc says that we need to pair it via ADB Wi-Fi or something like that. So in Android Studio, uh, we already got that option, but uh, I'll be using ADB Connect command. So to to do that, I'll have to list out whether I have devices here or not. So I have one device that's listed here, so I'll clear it up. And I'll do ADB TCP IP. 55, so it will enable uh, that uh, 555 port and I can now transmit data on that particular port. Now uh, I'll have to connect to so um, connect to one of my device's IP address so to that to do that uh, first let's see which uh, how you can grab that IP address from your device. So if I do screen copy I have this Samsung device running here. I can see that the IP address in the settings shows that 192.168.21.125. So I'll just um, close it up. ADB, I'll just punch in this command. ADB connect 192.168.29.125. And now we are connected. Now if I do this ADB devices, I'll see two devices. One is connected via Wi-Fi and one is connected via USB. Now let's clear it up. And let's start writing this sort of snippet that uh, it's written in YAML. So YAML is like a, a markup language, yet another markup language, in which uh, it's uh, not similar to what JSON does, but you will get the hang of it once we start writing it into. So let's, uh, so this is the YAML file. And first of all, we have to enlist an app which we want to open. So for that, you want to bring out all the packages that you have installed. If you are testing an in-house app, you might already know the package name. So uh, because I'll be testing a system messaging app on Samsung device, so I need to grab its uh, package ID. 
so i'll uh, go into adb shell but it will uh, because uh, i will remove the usb thing and adb devices you should return me a single device adb shell so it give me a shell access uh, so i'll do pm packages hyphen pm list package i guess that was the command packages hyphen f so it lists me all the packages that's being installed on my device either it could be service or it could be it will just point me to the, all the apks that are inside my device installed on my device not not like in your file or something and not like in your uh, folders or something but it will list all the, uh, the apps which are installed now i'll just search for messaging and this is the one samsung messages so i'll just copy this package i'll exit from the shell i'll clear this up now let me just uh, clear this tidbit up and let's move to this and paste in your package id here now uh, we want to differentiate this thing by these three dashes now we will have launch app it does nothing it just basically launches the app let me just uh, open the terminal clear it up let's open another terminal and scr cpy so i can see the device running so it's here let's close all the apps that we have running here now oh, let's go to desktop and do maestro hyphen hyphen host 192.168.25.0 29.125 and run test uh, message.yml file now when you execute this command it tries to connect to the device which is listening on port 5555 and it will execute whatever you have written so now i have written that launch the app with this particular package so it launched the app now uh, let's test a few more things let's say that uh, we are on this particular page and we want to test that whether message is visible or not so assert there is a, a command maybe you can say assert visibility assert visible and want to, we want to make sure that if messages is visible or not and let's also do one more thing let's say that we, we have some draft message so we want to check whether assert visible one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and we also want to assert whether it's whether the draft is visible or not so let's say that this is something that we wanted to validate onto your automation test and if we run it again it will relaunch the app basically so it doesn't matter if it's already running or not So it should basically work. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, it failed for some reasons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. One, two, three. Five. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, maybe some sort of thing here. Let's just uh, do one thing. Let's just assert visibility the draft. So draft is visible i'm not sure why it says that one two three four five six seven nine zero is not visible let's move to a different thing um, let's move let's switch to another tab we can just tap on to contacts and this should just switch this tab from conversion to contacts and you should see that okay uh, it switched to a tab so to validate that we can also assert the visibility of assert visible that if whether group is visible or not so if you the font size are not visible let me just increase it a bit up now i guess font size are good enough so we want that whenever we tap on contacts we want to make sure that group is visible so 
uh, because groups is there so I'll rename it groups and I'll go back and let's also tap on this group now let's run it again it will be same command host with test and then message.yml now message is visible draft is visible contacts was tapped visible is group and we tapped on the group now let's say that we don't want to interact do nothing do much on the group we just want to go back from this group we go back the back thing works only on android so they might be working upon something for ios as well so now let's just move to back and uh, now there might be some items which doesn't have a label like this sort of a button because it does not have a label but it has uh, what do I call it uh, a content description in Android so you can just uh, look for uh, search for this you can uh, input this as your uh, view matcher and it will work similarly for this uh, search you can also tap on this via uh, put, putting in search as the keyword here and for this it has more options so let's now tap on to uh, this uh, create new message so now uh, tap on create a new message let's verify it if it's a create a new message or a create new message it just create new message now once we you tap on this the keyboard comes in into open state so let's also input some number input text and let's input 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 now we have inputted this text so it should uh, populate our recipient now uh, because nothing else is being labeled on this particular uh, thing so the send button is also not labeled so we might just have to think of a strategy and because pressing enter doesn't work or maybe because it's not working because I don't have a, a plan onto my device or let's just input number maybe then it should come up okay but it does not have any label onto it so we might not be able to click on it but let's let's do this flow uh, let's see if we can figure out something so i doubt uh, we'll be able to make uh, this send button work but we'll try to uh, use the generic send uh, like uh, keyword like to tap on send and we'll see if it work so let's uh, do one thing uh, so when we are on this recipient and we see that there's a next button on the keyboard so let's say that we input text as one two three four five six seven eight nine zero also add tap on next so it taps on the next and we are whenever we do tap on to the next you are laid uh, you are like taken onto this particular text field where you can write your message and let's input text as hello and also like tap on I'm not sure whether it's going to fail or not but I have my hopes high that it will work uh, okay let's hit it and see if it if this flow works as expected and let's run it yeah so for started contacts tap some groups press back tap on create new message okay so it might fail because it's not create it's compose new message so let's just go to the test and write it compose let's close cancel this test and rerun it
so this um, automation test can also be very helpful in cases where you want to also uh, check for the accessibility of your UI elements. You can also run these uh, flows on your CI CI pipeline, and uh, when it when it all passes, you are good to go and good to merge that kind of stuff. So you see that uh, send work for us. Now it's hello, and it tapped the send button. Maybe it's working because that button has an identifier or ID which is like send. We might not be able to see that uh, content description maybe because of some reasons. I'm not sure, and. Uh, so this is the one of the most easiest UI automation system or UI automation framework that I ever seen because I have worked with Appium which is like uh, which, which comes with its additional cost of having uh, to learn a different language which is like uh, Python or Java but it comes with its own advantages.